Hi Tim, hi Eric, it's Dan down at DeBush Truck and Diesel. We're, uh, we just got off the phone a little bit ago, uh, earlier this afternoon, and I was going to give you a little information regarding these uh, quad axle dump trucks we have on hand here at DeBush Truck and Diesel. Um, anyways, uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to show you, it looks like, four complete units. I do have one more that's on its way, and then I also have a chassis that you... Uh, that is available to go ahead and do um, set it up. So this one is uh, uh, is gray in color. Uh, it has the uh, twin cams or excuse me cans on the front, uh, air cleaners with the drop down visor. The interior on this is all leather. Uh, this is a premium interior. Uh, it has an Allison automatic transmission, and that's located just in the right of the driver's seat. This one does have a high lift tailgate, um, a vibrator. Uh, and a rollback tarp, of course. Trailer package, uh, full locking, rear end, engine brake, everything you'd expect uh, when putting one of these together is your lift axle controls, your PTO switch, uh, and a high lift tailgate switch right here. We also have beacon lights on this one. Full gauge cluster, premium package, um, cold climate, you name it, this thing's got it. Bluetooth, um, Overhead console with a CD radio accommodation package, look down mirrors, heated mirrors, power mirrors, all of that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through these rather quickly. As I step out, we've got a 100 gallon fuel tank on this truck. We've got chrome modesty panels, chrome wheels, uh, aluminum wheels, polished aluminum. And as you can see as I back up, this is our new HX, fully loaded, ready to go. It's got a 150,000 pound tow pin on the front. This is not a light truck. This is what you would expect. It has a thicker floor uh, and it has a high lift tailgate. Um, the battery box is right behind the passenger seat and the air tanks are right within the frame rail. Uh, this one right here features a Bow rock body with a high lift tailgate. And it was set up by Michaels with the full trailer package. So this is the what I will refer to as the Great Ghost. Come up behind you here and we're looking at this is an HV, different model. This was also set up by Michaels. This has a bow rock body. Uh, it's a little bit lighter. This one's 27440. Uh, you can see here the uh, ladder is, is uh, on the outside there. Same suspensions. We have Primax suspension that has Continental tires. This has a little different, less aggressive Continental tires. Uh, endurance pusher tires and Goodyear front floats. Let's step up in this one. Step back here real quick. This is the new HV. This is basically what has replaced the 7000 series. You got a dual tow pin on the front. It has a sloped nose, creating very great visibility. Also has the um, aerodynamic sun visor. So if you haven't seen one of these HVs yet, I did leave it running just to show you how quiet it is. I'll step up inside. This one is not. Uh, premium interior. This is cloth interior. So this new package is a little different gauge cluster. Uh, something if you've been in a 7000 series, you, it's it's first thing that jumps out at you is this new interior of this. Bigger buttons, bigger switches you can use with your gloves. Again, air trailer package. Uh, the transmission, the Allison Automatic 4500 series, you're going to find them in all of these trucks. It's works with the stock shifter right here. The compression brake on, starts in off position, on one, stage one, two, three. If you want to uh, put the truck in drive, simply cover the brake, put the truck in drive. Um, the same with reverse. Cover the brake, simply put the truck in reverse. Okay. Uh, all new gauge cluster, real sweet. This is I, this is a more contemporary model. This is a truck that uh, 
it's going to do what every, thing, what every other truck can do. Um, full locking, rear end, all of that. Looks like we have an engine fan, strobe lights, PTO switch. This has the bodybuilder wiring. This has the, uh, the heavy duty uh, HVAC system. Plenty of extra power sources and, and a little bit of storage here as well. Batteries are in the cab in this truck. That's kind of one of the uh, one of the niceties that we have with this model. This uh, new LED screen in the middle here too offers a lot of different options. You can put in your own specific gauges that you want, uh, and you can cycle through those. So it's really really makes for uh, uh, a lot of options when you're uh, in your instrument panel. Okay. The cures, power windows, power locks, power mirrors, heated mirrors, all of that. I'm going to step out of this. The lanyard's back, by the way. Whoops. Come around here. I'm going to go and take you. Same engine. It's A26. This also has the A26. Uh, this, uh, we're going to call it the Blue Hornet today. Um, as you can see, lightning blue, it's just sharper than, well, really nice. Anyways, I'll back up here and you can really see close up. Looks like we didn't put uh, uh, beacon lights on this. Uh, we certainly can. Some grill strobes, I typically would do that. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, something we were stalling at the dealership. or. But again, chrome mirrors, um, chrome 13-inch uh, drop sun visor, air horns, all of that right on, the, on there. Uh, a Medon hood, it's light, uh, yet durable. Um, you got to love the uh, uh, the hazard lights on these trucks, uh, they really are distinctive. Uh, there's no mistake in an HX when it's coming down the road at you. This right here is right around that 27.5 as far as weight goes. All aluminum cab, met on hood. Uh, this does not have a high lift tailgate. Um, this is a Bebo body, a 19 foot 2 inch uh, body with Michelin tires. A little less, not, a little less aggressive here. Um, this is more of a uh, Definitely uh, a get-up-and-go kind of truck. I believe it's geared right around 4.3. You can look in the back here, and you can see the plate on the back, and the uh, everything you're going to need is back there. Let's draw our attention to this little this little beauty right here. I'm going to call this the uh, uh, the Black Mamba. Uh, this Black Mamba's got a high lift tailgate. Uh, by the way, this is 500 horsepower, 475 horsepower, 505 horsepower. The Black Mob is featuring a Cummins X15 with 565 horsepower. You can see this box is a little bit different. This is a Bebo body versus a Bowrock body. Uh, this does have the high lift tailgate. It's got the D-rings on the back here. Here again, a hitch plate included. Primex Air Ride suspension. more strobes on the back here. This one has a selection of two. This one you've got three. The Bull Rock body. That Bull Rock body this is a Bebo body. Uh, side marker lights on this one. Continental tires for rugged. Very, very rugged. This truck's going to weigh a little bit more. This is right around 28.5. Uh, how about this custom uh, hydraulic tank? looks nasty just like the truck we've got uh, air cleaners on the front and again of course we're not going to put a truck like this together without having that 150,000 pound pull pin she's a beauty chrome bumper chrome everywhere we got some more chrome we're actually going to put on the some wheel covers and stuff like that on too So this one has a, uh, this was the only one that doesn't have a matching box. We went with a black uh, chassis and a gray box. I think it really pops. And last but not least, I'll come around here and you'll see this, uh, this Burgundy HX. This is a 615, so it has an A26 in it. So we've got two with Cummins, two with A26s, as far as the HXs go. You can see again here the air tanks, that's the way we order them, so they're in between the frame rails. Uh, they're going to give you no problem. Michelin tires. I do need to get up inside of one of these HXs. Haven't done that yet, so we're going to do that. You're going to see the leather interior. Let's go up in the Black Mamba. A little bit of affection here towards this truck. It's just a 
It's just a beautiful. Of course, if you like 565 horsepower, who's going to complain about that? We come up inside, of course, you've got leather seats. Beautiful, beautiful interior. The fit and finish is just, you know, you can just hear the way the door shuts, all of that. We'll go ahead and fire this one up. Uh, again, all of your controls. Uh, they really, an international, really took a lot of time and got a lot of driver feedback with respect to what makes sense, what, what the drivers want. So, international listened. Let's go ahead and fire this up. All of them are going to have the tilt telescopic steering. Put that up. All of them obviously are going to have power locks, power windows, Bluetooth radio, um, Bluetooth, full lockers. All of them have trailer packages. All of them have Allison 4500 series. This might be a 3.91 ratio on this one. Uh, this setup's a little bit different. Universal did this one. Um, really like it. Also has the indicator letting you know that the that the box is up. Um, air ride seats on both, uh, and just beautiful, beautiful fit and finish. This one also has the the bug guard on the hood, and then of course the uh, uh, the 13 inch drop down visor. So, well, hey, I, I really appreciate you guys taking all the time to take a look at these trucks. Um, they're all beautiful, and I don't think you can go wrong, no matter which one you decided to take home with you. So. Uh, um, I really, uh, really encourage you to come on down to our dealership here at Bush Truck and Diesel, and uh, we're going to treat you right. We're going to take care of you, and we service what we sell. So, thanks for watching. Bye.